Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game box opening, this time for Frost Haven by Seth LaFair Games. This is a one to four player dungeon crawler game, the sequel of Gloomhaven. They just arrived this here not too long ago, and it came with the Frost Haven insert, which has map tiles, the official insert, and it's also got this wonderful little like storage folder that allows you to hold all the different booklets and maps. And today, all we're gonna do is open up the box and and show you what's inside. So let's go ahead and just get started by popping off this lid. This is an incredibly heavy game. It's probably like 50 pounds or something like that. Just getting off the lid is a challenge. Ugh, because it's so big. And I put everything, I've organized it already as much as I possibly can, but basically it's going to come with, and I mean come with, a ton of different map tiles and a ton of characters. I've organized them all individually as you can see, by different types of monsters. These are all gonna be standees, so all the monsters in the game are standees, and the main characters in the game are miniatures. It's also gonna come with an insert guide that explains how you can insert everything to make it all fit, because trust me, there's a lot to insert. There's a ton of maps, and more maps, and more maps. And you're also gonna be getting these guys here. And you have icon keys for all of them, and on the backs are punchies. They're going to come with a set of player sheets. It's going to come with a quick reference, and it's going to come with some, uh, basically like an herb set, so you can uh, track your stats, a bunch of pieces of paper that indicate the different types of events, and the stickers that you're gonna be adding to the map of the game. The main rule book for Frosthaven, which is massive, heavy, and has a ton of information in it with illustrations, which is nice. I own the base game, but I don't have the main box, so it's nice I get to finally open this one up and show you guys. <laughs> this one here is the main board for the game. This is basically like the different locations you'll be traveling to. And as you can see, it's rather massive. It's going to indicate different locations that you can venture to. There's gonna be stickers that you're going to add to it. And it is a legacy game, so as you play, you'll continue to move from one space to the next, interacting and, um, with different spots or locations, which you're gonna use these boards for, flipping them and adding them, attaching them. All of them can be attached. You could probably even make your own campaign if you want with this. And as you can see, it basically creates its own new environment. It's going to also include a scenario booklet and a section book as well for all the different scenarios that you will encounter and sections of it as well. And then this, it's a token organizer. It fits all the different tokens in the game, all the different effects, all the different damages, etc., etc. And when you open it up, there's a bottom portion for all the different one, two, and three space tokens that you're gonna be using in the game, whether it be treasure chests or fire, etc., etc. It all fits nice and neatly in here after you punch them all out. There's a lot of punches you're gonna have to go through for this game. I suggest you set aside at least an hour to do so. This is also going to come with some unique pieces that you don't open until they tell you to. Some of these guys are sealed, so never open up anything that's sealed. It's going to come with a ton of cards. Cards, these are all indicated uh, for the different characters and campaigns it's going to come with more if I can get them out so just these basic cards here but that's not it it's going to also come with these guys here and these guys here and these and these and then of course the base playing cards for the game to be utilizing and without standees how would you operate the monsters it comes with a full load of standees that you can use as well for your characters or for your monsters not for your characters your characters are all minis and then a ton of extra baggies if you need them. I didn't need them based on how I organized it, but you might. Additionally, it's going to come with a ton of different characters. There's a certain number of base characters that you're going to start with, but you'll be unlocking them more as the campaign goes on. And as you can see, there are a ton of them. And each of them are indicated by a different type of uh, symbol. And then finally, these guys here as well. And in the game, it'll tell you when to open them, when not to open them. And then there's another insert that you can pull aside, and that's where you're gonna find all the boxes. There are two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 22 boxes, it look like. And each of these boxes has a unique miniature that you will open up when the game tells you to. So when you get your first characters, you're gonna be use, utilizing those if your characters die. They're all in here in these little boxes that you're gonna be able to open up, along with 
I don't even know what these are. There's a bunch of envelopes that are sealed and they're stickered on. And I'm guessing the game will tell you when to open these as well. As well as really high quality life counters for each of the people that you're playing with. These life counters are spin down counters. You will have to set these up manually. They're not difficult to set up at all. And they spin indicating the two different important aspects of the game um, on the red side and the blue side for each player. Along with these guys here. This indicates the amount of damage certain characters or monsters are going to be taking and you're going to be utilizing these when those monsters or characters are out. And a big stack of monsters as well. Chaos, Demons, Fractures of the Deep, Snowman. This whole set is going to have a ton of monsters basically with a winter theme to it. And that's pretty much what you're getting in the game. There is a ton of components in Frosthaven. It looks brilliant. It looks amazing. The quality is there. You're not going to be getting a full huge amount of miniatures. It's mainly just the main characters in the game, but there is still quite a lot in there as it stands. But you are going to get a ton of monsters, a ton of replayability, and high quality. I'm going to be making a video indicating how the game is played, which is going to be very similar to you guys who have played Gloomhaven before. Uh, it's very similar in that regards as to how the game is played. Uh, also, we'll go ahead and have this whole thing set up. I'm going to have this uh, box set of the different things that you can um, basically put together. So I'm going to be basically basically making an organizer for all this stuff because there's so much of it, um, which we'll go into as well in a second here. Okay, so now the small portion. Map tiles, the official insert, and this is the archives. Rip this guy open. It indicates all the different chapters and how you store it up. And as you can see, it's kind of like a, a accordion folder that fits everything in. I'm guessing as you play the campaign, you'll be using this guy here. The insert itself pops out from this side angle, and it's a box. And it's going to include all the different wooden pieces you will need in order, there it is, for you to organize the entire game of Frosthaven. All the inserts just kind of fall out just like this. And all of them are punchable, punch outable, punchable, that's the right word. And as you can see, these all fits perfectly in here. In fact, you punch them out, you're gonna be adding them to the box to make sure that everything fits nice and snug. And there's a ton of these guys here that you'll be utilizing to make that box fit perfectly because as it stands, trying to fit everything in here, you're usually gonna have an extra two inches of space if you don't take your time and make sure that it fits just right. And then finally, the map tiles. You have the assembly book, which explains how to in install every single thing. And this is fully wooden with some plastic pieces that you're gonna add as overlays. Wow, there's a lot of wooden. And you can actually pull up this little guy here as well. And all these pieces here are already laser cut for you. You just have to push them out. And you may or may not need some wood glue, which it did come with, which is nice. And usually they don't come with wood glue, so having wood glue is excellent. These things fit in well. They have little scenery portions that you're gonna be adding to the box and so on and so forth, as well as the laser etching for Frosthaven directly on here as well. Overall, high quality product. I will have this insert done as soon as humanly possible. If you have yet to pick up Frost Haven, now is your chance. It is fully ready to go as far as I'm aware, and I think most backers have gotten their copies now, which is why I'm now showing off this video for just the unboxing of the game. There's so much more to show you, but I just want to give you a quick rundown of what the game looks like. Next time you see me with this title, you're going to see the game in action, how it's played. It's going to show, I'm going to show you the full organizer and let you know if it's something that you should pick up. But in general, I can easily say that based on the contents and quality of this original title from the original Gloom Haven. If you like that version and you want more, then Frost Haven's your next bet. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review, or actually I should say insert and uh, unboxing for the game Frost Haven by Cephalophore Fair Games, designed by Isaac Childress. It is really, really good. I'm excited to get to play this. It's going to be an undertaking, and that's probably the only main thing I have to say as far as the negatives. If you don't like the whole aspect of building and putting things together, you're going to be doing that with the insert and just making sure that everything fits in the box. But luckily there is an insert organizational pamphlet that you will be able to look at and see how to put this nicely. As you can see from me, I'm up a couple inches here, or about an inch and a half. When my wife did it, she put it all the way down. So you can fit everything in here if you're a better organizer than myself. Check out the website on filteredgamer.com, blog post, giveaways, kicks, list, and more. Check out the game. There's a link down below in the description, as well as a subscribe button and bell notification button. All right, guys, that's all I got for you this time. And as always, I look forward to delving into the dungeons of Frosthaven with you next time.